Hello. Good morning. How are you? I think all of you are fine. Today is the first class of 12 bytes. So, with a new hopes, no new expectation will be stirred in 12 bytes. Today I am going to discuss about the first chapters of the class 12 maths that is the name of the chapters is relations and functions okay try to cooperate with me I'll try to give my best okay thank you let's see the basic of the chapters so we know about what first one is the ordered pair elements ordered pair elements ordered pair elements what is ordered pair elements ordered pair elements is nothing but a pair of elements which is listed in a specific order separated by a comma within the parenthesis and that is what suppose a comma b two elements are taking and listed pair of listed elements separated by commas written within the parenthesis this is called order elements this is called first elements this is called second elements note here we have to keep in mind that a comma first one is a comma b not equal to b comma a these are basic things already we got it okay a comma b is equal to x comma y you can only for a is equal to x b is equal to y it is related in class 11 already got order the elements cartesian product what is cartesian product let's see what is cartesian product cartesian product is what e2 empty sets non empty sets a and b cartesian product is denoted by a cross b and defined as what the order of pair set of all order pair elements such that A belongs to the A, B belongs to B. The first elements will be the first set and second elements from the second set. This is the Cartesian product of two non empty sets, A equals B. Number of elements of A is P and number of elements B is Q. Then number of elements of A equals B is equal to what? P into Q. This always you have to keep in mind. This number point one. This number point two. How do you keep in mind? A cross B not equal to B cross A. A cross B not equal to B cross A. Next thing is the relation. Relation from A is set A to B. A to B. It is denoted by R. Relation from A set A to B. It is denoted by all the elements of A. Elements of A. This is related under some rules. Under some rules with the elements of B. And it is a rod. R is the subset of A equals B. R is the subset of A equals B. Then you can say R is a relation from A to B. If R is a subset of A equals B, then we can say R is a relation from A to B. Okay. Now see. This is A. This is B. This is the relation from A to B. So R A comma B such that A belongs to A, B belongs to B and R is the subset of A cos B. So if it has a elements A and it is B, A is related, what do you say? A is related to B. That is if A comma B belongs to R, it implies what A is related to related to P and shortly it is written as A is related to B and if A comma B not belongs to R it means what A is not related to B and shortly it is written as A is not related to B okay number of relations number of total number of relations total number of relations what is the total number of relations from A to B if it has P elements, it has Q elements, then what will be the total subsets? Subsets, total subsets what will get? 2 to the power PQ. So total number of relations is 2 to the power PQ. And total number of total number of empty relations. Empty relations. What will be the total number of empty relations? Phi is empty set. And it is also subset of this A cross B. So total number of empty relations is 2 to the PQ minus 1 this is the total number of empty relations okay these things we have in our mind now what is domain domain of relations what we can say domain of relations domain of relations is nothing but the domain of relations are what is the domain of relations set of all the elements 
set of all elements of the first component of the relation. That is A such that A belongs to A and A comma B belongs to R for some B belongs to B. All the sets formed by the first components of the relation and range of range of R is nothing but the all set formed by all the elements of second components of the relation B such that B belongs to is A belongs to A. B belongs to B, A comma B belongs to R for some A belongs to A. Okay, this is the range. And what is codomain? Whole set is called codomain. Codomain is nothing but what? Codomain. What is codomain? The set B is called the codomain. Okay, this is called codomain. Now what is the inverse inverse relation what is the inverse relation let's see the inverse relation so r is a relation from a to b r is a relation from a to b such that r is equal to what a a belongs to a b belongs to b and a comma b uh, this is the relation okay the inverse relation inverse is inverse of R is denoted by R inverse and defined as defined as R inverse is equal to what B comma A such that A comma B belongs to R. R inverse is nothing but what B comma A such that A comma B belongs to R. That is the inverse of relation. So these are the basic things already got in class 11. Next, we will see the and some special or particular relations. Some particular relations. What are the some particular relations? So let's see what are the some particular relations. First one is empty relations. Empty relations. What is empty relations? Phi pi is an empty set, and empty set is nothing but the subset of suppose any relation are on A to A. Then A cross A. Phi is a subset of A cross A. So what you can say, phi is a relation, phi is a relation on A. And this relation is called, this relation is called empty relations, empty relations. Also one more thing you can say, suppose A and B, not a single elements of A are related with the any elements of B, not a single, not a single element of A, A is related with any element, any element of B, then A, then this relation, then this relation from A to B is called empty relation, empty relation or void relations, empty relations or void relations, okay? And empty relations is the smallest relation, this is the smallest relations. Next one is the universal relation, what is universal relation? Let's see, what is universal relation? Universal relations, universal relations. A cross A is always a subset of A cross A. Okay, so A cross A is a relation on A. This relation is called universal relation. This relation is called what? Universal relation. Next is identity relation. What is identity relation? A relation R on A, A to A, that is uh, a relation A to A and it is called identity relation and it is derived by i if and only if or we can say a comma a so for all a belongs to a that is what the elements elements are related to itself only not with others, only to itself, that 
relations called identity relations. So these are the basic things and our discussion, main discussion is the next three relations and it is important for class 12. So be careful here. Let's see the next three relations out of the next three relations. The next three relations is first one is a reflexive, reflexive relation. What is reflexive relations? Reflexive relations is like the same with the identity relations but not there is a difference between identity relations and reflexive relations. All relations, uh, all identity relations are reflexive but all reflexive relations may not be identity. Let's see. R is a relation. R is a relation. From on a on a setting relation on a set a if for all a belongs to a a is related to a that is a comma a belongs to r then r is reflexive then r is reflexive or you can say for all a comma a a belongs to a, a comma a belongs to R, it implies R is reflexive, if and only. If a comma a belongs to R, then R is reflexive, if R is reflexive, a comma a belongs to R, okay? As for example, we can take, what we can take, suppose uh, L is the set of all lines, parallel lines. L is the all parallel lines. L1, L2 such that L1 is parallel to L2. Okay. So these are lines, these are lines in this plane. This L1, this L2, L3, L4, L5, in this way. So L1 is parallel to L1, L2 is parallel to L2. L3 is parallel to L3, L4 is parallel to L4, L5 is also parallel to L5. So what do you can say? L1 is related to L1, L2 is related to L2, L3 is related to L3, L4 is related to L4, L5 is related to L5. In this order, the lines will get, or the lines are parallel to itself. So this relation is, this relation is what? Reflexive. This relation is reflexive. Next one is what? Symmetry. Symmetry. Let R is be a relation. Let R be a relation on a set A. For all A comma B, all A comma B belongs to A. If A comma B belongs to R, it implies that B comma A belongs to R. Then R is symmetry. Uh, symmetry. A comma B belongs to R, it implies that B comma A also belongs to R. Same thing we can say in the parallel lines L1, L2. L1 is parallel to L2. That is L1 is parallel to L2. What you can say? It implies that L2 is also parallel to L1. So it is what? Symmetric. This is symmetric. Next one is transitive. Next one is number 3 is transitive. What is transitive? Transitive. Let R be a relation on a set A. R be a relation on a set A. Okay. For all A comma B comma C belongs to A. If A comma B belongs to R and B comma C, be careful here. The common this should this should be common. B comma C belongs to R. It implies that A comma C, the first one and third one, belongs to R. Then R is, then what do we say? R is transit. Then R is transit. Example also there one is L1, this is L2. L1 is parallel to L2. Again this is L3. L3 is, L2 is parallel to L3. L2 is parallel to L3. L1 is parallel to L2. L2 is parallel to L3. What you can say? 
if we remove this one, so what will get? L1 is also parallel to, from this to what you can see, L1 is also parallel to L3. This L1, L1, L2 belongs to R, L2, L3 belongs to R, and what will get? L1, L3 belongs to R. These things we are getting. So, this relation is what? Transitive. And one more thing is that equivalence relations. What is equivalence relations? See, what is equivalence relations? Equivalence relations. Equivalence relation. If a relation R is number one reflexive, number two symmetric. Number three, transitive. Then R is equivalence. If a relation is reflexive as well as symmetric as well as transitive, then R is equivalence relation. So these are the basic things of the relations and function. We have to keep in our mind these basic things. With the help of this, we will solve the problems. So, what are the things? First one is order pair. These are preliminary things of the relations. Order pair, Cartesian product, relations. What is relations? Relations is nothing but the subset of Cartesian product of two sets from A to B if R is a relation from A to B. Domain, range, codomain, inverse relation, empty void, empty or void, relation, universal relation, identity relations. These all are basics. Our main point is reflexive. Symmetry, transitive, and equivalence. These four things is related to class 12. So we have to keep these things in our mind. Reflexive is what for all elements is A belongs to A. A comma A belongs to R. For all A belongs to A. Okay, small A belongs to A. Then it is reflexive. If A comma B belongs to R and it implies that B comma A belongs to R, then it is called symmetric. And for three elements A, B, C, if A comma B belongs to R and B comma C belongs to R and it implies that A comma C belongs to R, then we can say R is transitive. Okay? So in the next class we will discuss with some examples to clear this concept. Thank you. Have a nice day.